Minecraft. <laughs> The game responsible for the hum in your neck and your butt posture. Minecraft is the game where I need to lower the volume of the main music or else I start getting mild depression. The game that made you discover how enjoyable it is to get your friends killed in an accidental explosion. <laughs> Or how paranoid you have become when you realize you are hiding your treasure chest on the ground so no one can steal stuff from you. Minecraft is one of those games every time I return to play it, I have an amazing time. Even though I already know most of the things I can do in Minecraft, every time I play it is a different experience. I just need to have a two years break in between my obsessive Minecraft episodes so I can forget how apathetic I felt while mining three hours searching for minerals. Minecraft is the game where you start cutting trees and then two hours later you are building an arena of chickens. The quantity of things you can do in Minecraft is infinite, contrary to many modern games where you have to jump exactly where the developers want you to jump or else you won't continue the story even though you are playing as the domestic animal with more liberty of movement that exists, a fucking cat, in Minecraft you are free to do whatever you want. The game trusts you'll find things to do, so it doesn't bug you with endless tutorials. When I was an ugly child, I never followed the game campaigns. I mean at some point I did, but before going through the actual missions, I explored the game by myself and did everything you could imagine instead of the things I had to do. Everything you could imagine. And that's why I love Minecraft. It's like the more creative you are, the more you enjoy the game. One time, my brother and I installed a mod that let us turn into bats, and we had the idea of imprisoning a ghast into a huge crystal cube. So we used fishing poles to grab and pull the ghast while flying as bats and we tried to push the ghast into a huge nether portal that we had built which was connected to the portal inside a huge crystal prison. Did we make it? Of course we did. Here's a picture. In Minecraft, you are free to do anything you can imagine, and with mods, the possibilities are endless, even if what you want is to capture random NPCs to sell them as wives. Sometimes you just want to play something relaxing, something that you can play while listening to some lofty playlist, a game that doesn't make you bald because everyone is yelling at you because you get yourself killed. There's nothing anxiety inducing about Minecraft, except when you fall from really high by accident or when you have only one heart and you start jumping in zigzag trapped in a mine with five skeletons. Are there Endermen? There's Building in Minecraft while watching YouTube videos or listening to some podcasts is so fucking relaxing. You are all alone collecting all the materials, building the walls of your new house, then you realize you want to catch some fish from the roof, so you build a fishing desk, then you start having too many items, so you build a room with everything organized, you keep building, then you realize you built a house too big for your dog and you, and then you don't know how to utilize the space, so you start adding things like tables and TVs. Then you add a pool, paths to connect different buildings, you start to copy some stuff from YouTube, so suddenly you have a more complex mechanism in your builds, you tame all the wolves you encounter and bring them to your house to then realize how annoying it is to hear all the barks. You can definitely have an excellent time playing Minecraft solo, but I think the real range of possibilities opens when you play Minecraft with people. That's when you discover how malicious your friends really are and how enjoyable it is to push them accidentally. You start having adventures and go exploring stuff together and things like that, but in the end you can play however you like, which is what makes Minecraft such a great sandbox game.
You only can play so long until you start finding things repetitive. No matter how creative you are, maybe you have already built all the things you wanted, maybe you already collected all the animals you wanted, or you already reached all the goals you had in mind. And this is when I wish Microsoft did more updates. How much has Minecraft really changed over the years? Well, the game is not that different from when it first launched. And why is that? Because Microsoft takes forever adding new content. I mean, in the time Microsoft add one mob, the modding community already created like 20 mobs, all with sounds and mechanics integrated. Minecraft has become something so big with so many people working in the game that when they try to do something, it's like a hundred people trying to enter a small door. They have so many people that to make the most minuscule change, it has to go through at least 15 different hands, while a mother can do the art and the animation all by himself alone in his room. If you look at other games like Valorant or especially Fortnite, you'll notice that the developers constantly add new content, they are constantly adding new patches and stuff to keep the game alive. You can say what you want about those games, but you cannot deny that the effort put in by the developers is insane. I do not think that a game must have constant updates, especially if we're talking about a really solid game like Minecraft, but I think it would definitely help to keep the community alive if they did. I've been playing Minecraft on and off for almost 12 years. Years. I remember that I even tried to buy it in stores when it first came out because I didn't know it was a digital game. I love Minecraft. It's probably one of my all-time favorite games. It's kind of difficult to explain to people that haven't played why it's so good, but when you do... You understand, you know? So why don't you go visit the dog you left in some random safe? and try to enjoy the game one more time. I would love to read about your random experiences playing Minecraft in the comments or maybe the reason why you enjoy the game so much. If you like the video, you can always subscribe and I'll be summoned to your feed once every two weeks with nostalgic interesting content or just talking about random stuff. I hope you have a great week and I'll see you later. Bye bye. Check out one of these videos, especially this one or this one.